Cool Energy Inc. is a high-tech power conversion company with headquarters in Boulder, Colorado. The engineering and advisory team possesses decades of technical experience in developing and bringing to market mechanical equipment in renewable energy, HVAC, electronics, and the aerospace industries. The company's management team has received numerous patents, including its most recent patent for the Solar Flow system. If we installed Cool Energy Solar Heart engines and even 30% of the opportunities for industrial waste heat recovery, we would install 11 gigawatts of generating capacity, which would produce 60 billion kilowatt hours of electricity every year from heat that's wasted up industrial smokestacks. We could save 30 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions every year if we get even 30% of the opportunities. And that's in the U.S. alone. Traditional Stirling engines have always worked at high temperatures, temperatures that you get from combustion of some kind of material like coal or oil or natural gas. And our insight was that that combustion process is causing a lot of the pollution problems that we have environmentally. And so we looked to make a lower temperature engine. So that's breaking the paradigm of the high temperature combustion engines. And that low temperature engine could be used for waste heat recovery from industrial processes, could be used with non-tracking solar thermal collectors. And so the Solar Heart engine is an engine that's designed for distributed generation applications, up to 100 kilowatts in industrial settings for waste heat recovery, and a handful of kilowatts for distributed solar thermal power generation. The, the adaptability and the flexibility of the cool energy technology is what I find really fascinating. And one of the things that we found attractive when we were making a decision on what technology to fund. So what we have going on here is a demonstration of a model Stirling engine with cold pucks for the cold side creating the temperature difference with the room temperature air. So this is the hot side of the engine and this is the cold side of the engine. When the gas moves to the hot side of the engine it expands pushing the power piston up and moving the gas then to the cold side of the engine where the gas is easier to compress than it was when it was hot. And this cycle is the way that the Stirling engine is able to generate mechanical work from the difference between a hot side and a cold side. More work comes out of the gas when it expands than is taken when you compress it and so you get net work out, which is how you generate power from the Stirling cycle. The Solar Heart Engine Technology. My company, Cool Energy in Boulder, a small company of about six people, had, that has produced a low temperature Stirling engine. A Stirling engine is a device that turns heat into electricity and does so at temperatures lower than combustion temperatures. This device here is our prototype engine. It's the third generation prototype that we've got. We've developed this all here in Boulder. And we've got an idea for one of the ways to use this. Uh, we do waste heat recovery, we do biomass power, but you can make a solar system that uses thermal collectors to collect heat all year round. It delivers that uh, heated oil into the uh, storage tank in the, the building's basement. In the winter time, you use the heat for heating the house. All year, you heat the hot water. And in the summertime, when you don't have any other use for that heat, you turn it into electricity with the Stirling engine. This is the next generation of pilot design we're almost complete with, and we've sold two of these uh, in Europe so far, and we're getting ready to build those. The potential market for the solar flow system, which is the solar heart engine with the solar thermal collectors, in the United States and Europe is clearly tens of millions of homes. Uh, our first markets, our market focus in the United States is areas with high energy costs, meaning homeowners that are heating with propane and are in places like the northeastern U.S. where electricity costs are 15 to 20 cents a kilowatt hour. In our pilot solar flow system, you can see its main components. The solar thermal collectors, the thermal storage tank, the pump station, and the solar heart engine. This solar flow system produces over 1,500 watts of power. You can see we have sensors uh, scattered throughout the engine, monitoring various temperatures, pressures, uh, flow in the fluids, and uh, all of them are linked back uh, to the computer and displayed and recorded in the lab here uh, on the PC. Uh, we're monitoring uh, input, input temperatures, both on the hot side, and then we also monitor what the cold temperature is. We monitor engine speed, we monitor electrical power output, 
Uh, we monitor flow rates both in the cold fluid and the hot fluid. What we're running uh, right now is a three cycle single acting alpha, uh, which means there's three separate Serling cycles. Uh, they're phased 120 degrees out of, apart from each other, all acting on one single crankshaft. And so what we're monitoring is the pressure versus volume for each of the three cycles. So what we have here is our pump station that drives the fluid from the storage system up through the collectors and back. There's a separate pump which takes the fluid from the storage tank and puts it into the engine to make electricity. Okay, because cool energy addresses both the thermal issues and electrical issues, it increases the effectiveness of trying to address both of those challenges. So it's flexible. That's a really key component of the cool energy technology. But one of the things that was really unique about uh, Sam Weaver's technology in cool energy is that he's taking one capital investment and maximizing the benefit from it. The next step for cool energy. Cool Energy is a pioneering company that has engineered and developed a novel way of turning waste heat into electricity. I'm proud of our development of our low temperature solar heart engine and I'm also proud of our pilot system here in Boulder, Colorado that couples solar thermal collectors to our engine to provide heat and electricity for buildings. Cool Energy is ready to move to a new phase of our development now and we're looking for two types of partners to help us do this. The first type is investment to be able to scale up our manufacturing and get these technologies out into the world. And the second type of partner is an application and deployment partner in residential, military and commercial applications. We welcome your support and we look forward to engaging with you to bring this technology forward into the world. Thank you. To learn more, please visit www.coolenergyinc.com.